Understanding superposition is important both mathematically and physically. Mathematically, if you have two functions, a and b, their superposition will be their sum. In the following examples, each function will be dependent on time. Let's take the simple example of a constant function plus a linearly increasing function. Their superposition will be a linearly increasing function with a constant offset. Superposing a linearly increasing function with a quadratic, parabolic, function will produce a parabolic function with a different apex. You can also superpose sinusoidal functions or a combination of any functions to produce a desired shape. It is also important to note that one can also work backwards, called regression analysis, to separate out individual functions and hence deduce relevant input. In this example, looking at the final product, one can analyze it to deduce that a sinusoidal component, a parabolic component, a constant offset, and even a linear component may be involved. Superposition can be used to analyze complicated real-life physics motion. For example, describing the motion of the end of the handle of a thrown hammer, we can simplify it as the superposition of a circular rotation of the handle around its center of mass, as well as projectile motion of that center of mass. Here's another example. The palm tree shape, often seen from exploding fireworks, is also a superposition of the radial explosion outward from the center of mass and the free fall projectile motion of the center of mass. Waves are also subject to superposition, which has real life uses in FM and AM radio. FM stands for frequency modulation. In this example, a short wave carrier frequency is interrupted by longer wave signals. Note, however, that the addition of frequencies has somewhat different mathematics than simple addition that goes into the product of the argument of the function. Amplitude modulation is much easier to understand as it is in fact just the original superposition mathematics. The carrier frequency will still have shorter wavelength than the signal though.